Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's I'm Beowulf back at it with another YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, existing subscriber to the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out my online store where I sell all my 3D printed stuff I make at 3dbeowulf.com. And also, too, I have a merch store that's cryptobeowulf.com. And also, too, I have an Amazon store that's amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Let's get this video going. So, um, I went to the weekend opening of Ant-Man and the Wasp. The third installment. And I 3D printed this King the Conqueror helmet. Turned out really cool. I'm really liking the purple I used with this. And I kind of uh, got this thing done in a very fast manner. I didn't have a lot of time before the uh, movie came out. It turned out really cool. It's actually really neat on this helmet uh, to put it on. You kind of need two hands. There we go. So I installed magnets. So when you're putting this on, the lower part slips on. And then you put this on, and look at that, Pff, magic. Now the only thing that was disappointing when I printed this helmet is I scaled it up. But you can see how narrow it is in there, that even when you take off the backing, um, I when I was printing this, I was like, oh, this helmet's gonna be too big. And I couldn't slip it on my head. And my brother has more of a narrow head that I for sure would have thought this could have slipped over his head. We almost got it on, but it, it, he wouldn't have been able to get it off. And it just, because when I was measuring from the inside, I thought, well, the inside has a, a gap and it'd be enough for the ears. So realistically, this helmet's made for uh, like a youth or child, which is just hard to believe because the helmet's really big. Um, so this piece I'm actually going to be selling. Uh, I was thinking about putting it on a display thing, but I think I'm just going to sell it. It'd be cool for a kid, you know, when it's Halloween's coming and uh, he wants to be King the Conqueror. So I'm going to have this helmet up for, up for sale. And it turned out really sharp. I like really like the purple I used with it. And it was still cool to bring this with to the movie because if you haven't seen the trailer, you know, you wouldn't have known who this guy was or what the helmet was. And it was kind of interesting because when I went to the movie, I think people thought this was stuff like I didn't make, you know, I don't think people realized that I made this out of nothing. And, uh, and it was a, there were some people that, that, you know, that were really shocked to see this, especially I made an Ant-Man 3 damaged helmet. And uh, it was like giving away spoilers basically at the end of how the helmets smashed in, but it was in the trailer. So if you, if you watched the trailer, you would have seen it. But I thought this was really cool. The first time building... Uh, a villain helmet and I like the detail of this and it would look really cool even if you didn't want to wear it um, I'll sell this with a stand so the stand will hold the helmet up in the air so this would be just a really cool uh, display piece so this should be up this should be up sometime this week on my website for sale um, I'm gonna just have to 3d print the stand for this because unless somebody just wants to sit on the shelf, I think it would look cool when it's on a stand, resting up a little in the, up in the air. Kind of gives it that look. So especially to, you don't have to buy this for your son or daughter that wants to be King the Conqueror. This would be just a cool villain display if you just want the helmet and you just like King the Conqueror and you want to have the comic version of the helmet and have it on display. But I tell you, I'm really happy how this thing turned out it's just like when i printed this and i couldn't put it on i was like disappointed because i'm like this helmet looks really cool and i figured to share some of this really cool work that i did with building this i built my dog an iron man helmet and i just gotta uh, put the glow in the dark eyes once or two this will be up for sale where it's a the eye will light up but this is even this is like showing you like the process before it's not even like even halfway. And uh, it's got some parts here, Ghostbuster, Haslab, Neutrino wand, and then doing a couple other Terminator statues. This is like the 
this is why I film stuff or it's like a staging ground of doing stuff before it goes to the next process of whatever I'm making. But I wanted to share this. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Stay mighty and keep strong.